My name is Sue Pritchard. I'm Senior Curator of Arts here at Royal Museums Greenwich. Part of my role is to curate and manage the collection which is on display here in the Queen's House. We're very committed to displaying contemporary art and working with contemporary artists. And I think that can be quite controversial when you're working within the context of a historic house. But this was a house of delights. It was patronised by Henrietta Maria and Charles I. And we're doing exactly what they would have done 400 years ago. We're actually working with the very best of contemporary artists, bringing a new insight into the house and to the works themselves. I think what's really important about Matt's work is that he's actually shown a very vulnerable side of a historic figure which traditionally is seen as incredibly powerful and yet here Matt has revealed her as a 55 year old woman with all the flaws that a woman her age would have had such as the smallpox scars and the slight lines, the fine down of hair on her chin and her upper lip. Well, the Mask of Youth is actually an art historical term. It was first coined by Savoy Strong, and it relates to a point at which Elizabeth, as an Asian queen, has to present herself as somebody who is timeless and always the same. So it's very much a modern term. It was coined in the 1970s. Elizabeth herself would not have understood her, that term at all. She would not have understood the Mask of Youth but she would have understood that she was actually portraying herself as a much younger woman. Even though she's 55, she's no longer eligible on the marriage market, she's not going to produce an heir, but she still has to present herself as a viable ruler on the world stage. I think all art is political. Artists and the viewers will always be conscious of the context in which the art was actually produced and I think with the Amada portrait you see Elizabeth at her most powerful but also possibly at her most vulnerable and I think that is a metaphor of where we stand today on the cusp of Brexit. I think public funding for art and artists is incredibly important. To maintain art for all we must maintain our public funding. It's really important for museums to have a dialogue with contemporary artists. I think they bring a new viewpoint, a new way of seeing the past. And I think they can really interpret works of art in a way that makes it both controversial, but also very relevant to a contemporary audience.